McKamey Manor Haunted House offers an experience so intense that no one has ever made it to the end. Patrons are willingly kidnapped, put in a straitjacket, and tormented for hours. I'm never going to be the same again. This is no joke. No laughing matter. I honestly think that Danny is the toughest, craziest person in the whole world. If there ever was a person to beat the manor, it's going to be Danny. Well, we're back. We're back. I'm here back with YouTuber Reckless Ben on another infiltration series. I know I kind of took a big time off on YouTube. I've been posting in probably three months. But that last cult series, it kind of like took up my whole life. And like I kind of took a mental health break. And uh, now I'm back. In this series, we are infiltrating the one and only mckamey manor but before this video starts i just want to say this video is for educational documentary purposes and is allowed on youtube reckless ben and i we don't support false advertising inside mckamey manor and we're here to expose it and you're going to understand why throughout this series but let's get into the video but for people that don't know like what is mckamey manor ben yeah basically it's like the scariest haunted house in the whole world is what they advertise themselves as and no one's ever made it through and uh you get twenty thousand dollars if you do make it through if anyone get through the haunted house they give you 20 grand but no one's ever won the money yet because like literally every single person's always tapped out before they even like make it you don't want to do this i quit right right away but why are we doing this there's probably obviously some like red flags we see why we want to infiltrate this I mean, we found out that McKamey Manor might not be just a normal haunted house. There's accusations of it being a straight up torture house. Some people are calling one Tennessee Halloween attraction a quote torture chamber. Thousands have signed a petition to shut down McKamey Manor in Summertown, Tennessee. It says you agree to being shocked, submerged in water, slapped, tied up, shaved, or even getting unwanted dental work. To this day, I still feel inside of me that I'm still being tortured. I hope that I will recover from it inside of me and in my soul. I don't think I ever will, uh, unless I see Russ McKamey um, in prison for the rest of his life. Russ McKamey is the guy who created it. The manor's after his last name, McKamey. It's McKamey Manor. And uh, he videotapes every single person that goes through. So it's pretty strange. They claim they have 27,000 people or 21,000 people on a wait list to do McKamey Manor. The 27,000 people on his wait list. 27,000 on the combined waiting list. You know what's, you know what's weird? I got approved right away. I think after I got interviewed by them, they were like, we'll let you know by tomorrow. They let me know in 20 minutes and they're like, you're approved. Was the 21,000 thing a lie just to get people more stoked about McKamey Manor? We're probably the most famous haunt in the world. There's no way 21,000 people signed up if we got approved right away. So oh, I did McKamey Manor first and we're gonna be the first people to actually figure out the mystery of what goes on inside, you know? But yeah, we had a problem because- uh, I know on your YouTube stuff, do some investigative work and this and that. Are you trying to do that with the manor? Are you trying to, you know, get dirt on the manor? Are you trying to do some kind of a investigative deal on the Kenya Manor? Uh, so no. Damn. That was a close call. But luckily Ben's really good at talking his way out of things. So uh we're good for for now at least. I I, I hope so. But we actually ran into another problem, the NDA contract. But luckily, Reckless Ben, smartest man in the world, came up with a plan. There was an NDA contract and- It says we owe him 50 grand if we use the footage, so. I mean, he, he was stupid enough to give us the contract for us to print out and then give back to him to sign. Yeah, he, so, well, he gives us half of the contract and then we get the rest of it when we're there. So we give us half of the contract. We're like, we can easily change this without him yeah. knowing. This man understands that they violate this agreement, that they agrees to pay Russ McKinney Manor $50,000 as damages. Instead of owing him 50 grand. Oh, I'm gonna take that. One dollar of damages now. We owe him one dollar and he has to, wait, this part's a secret. You can just bleep that part out, Danny. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah that he um, has to get That's a spoiler for later Yeah, that was on, a spoiler. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to bleep it. Later wait, so this is the edited document. Let's take page 14 out of this document. Crumple up into a bulk. Good. Good luck in McKamey Manor, Danny. Yeah! Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Contract. It's signed. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I looked up pretty much every single person that went through McKamey Manor. You guys have lost your damn minds. And I thought like, oh, none of these guys are as crazy as us. We could actually be the first person to win the money, you know? So if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I do crazy stunts, but Reckless Ben, it's just like his name, he's reckless. He's one of the best slackliners in the world and is willing to do anything. I wasn't gonna leave until I either land the double backflip or until I injure myself. 
that's why we, I feel like we we get along so well because we're we're always down to like do the craziest stuff, and so we feel like we're the best for this. And reckless Ben, yeah. he went in first, dude. Ben, your experience was nuts. Okay, folks, everybody, 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 it's show time. Then apparently Russ has a a fetish for painting faces. Paint them up good. Yeah, there you go. Now you're talking. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, how do we get this footage? Like, how are they filming someone go through McKamey Manor? And it's all through Facebook Live and the McKamey Manor Facebook group. How about pink? Get some pink in there. Yeah. yeah. Feel like good? Y'all taking pictures? Taking pictures, guys. It's intense. Good job, right there. Looking like a sparkly chicken. It's just embarrassing, dude. He makes you do the stupidest things. And during all this, you're wearing a onesie the whole time. That's like their thing. It's uh, it's pretty strange, but it feels like he gets off on stuff like this. And, uh, it's just like humiliation for the person that's doing it, but he loves it. It's it's really weird. After people go through it, he has the footage. Do you think he's like, <laughs> I, think he's like, he's like I love this. If you take the visual off the paint section of the video I posted and you just listen to it, it sounds like it's from a sex scene. Awesome. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. Let's try that with Josh. Get some pink in there. Yeah. Yeah. Pink. Yeah, now that is nice. Like it, it kind of sounds like a scene from a sex scene or something. Yeah. So obviously Ben and I, we don't know for sure if this is some weird kink or fetish that Russ has, but I want to take it a step further and really get down to the bottom of this. Like who's a pro that would know if this is like some weird fetish. And so what better person than having a porn star come over that specializes in this humiliation, like torture being dominant. And so uh, we ended up meeting up with porn star Lizzie Love. So for the past six years, I've been working with people online who have pretty much every fetish imaginable. And I also torture people in real life and scenes and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, like the phrase, like, oh, I want to paint your face. So it's just like, you want to come on. Oh, on really? Yeah. That's a porn term? Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's <laughs> it's very can't... literal. I feel like part of the fetish really oh. is that don't come up. people don't know that it's a fetish. Uh huh. He's very, very big on this is not a sexual thing. Now, we all know there's nothing sexual, there's nothing inappropriate. That's always been how it is. But you're saying it is a sexual thing. I think so. I mean, I feel like because he's kind of saying that, that's him even more trying to cover it up. Uh -huh. This part too, with the clothespins, this is a fetish. Really? Is that actually a thing in porn yes. where people Oh yeah, they'll put it on people's bodies and whip it off with a wand. Yes! Really? Yeah. Whoa. And a lot of this is humiliation too, which is also a fetish. I've done a lot of humiliation like uh -huh. work. So now we got a porn star's opinion on it, and now I just feel like it's up to the audience of like what you guys think. Like, obviously we don't know as a fact, but I feel like she definitely gave us some good points, but I just don't get why this guy doesn't make any money off of this. He works at Walmart. It's already a very sensitive subject that I'm out here doing this stuff. So, okay. So, okay. Yeah, especially if you go to Walmart because I work there. Well, he likes yeah. torturing people for fun. Maybe that's his way of torturing himself. Yeah, that's true. But now we're going to take you back to Ben's haunt where Russ is still humiliating Ben. Sing us a song. All right, keep crawling. Doo, doo. So this is supposed to be a haunt, right? What's scary about Ben singing happy birthday? It's just like he's being humiliated and it's just for Russ's benefit, like I said. Then they have a quick break for Ben to sign the rest of the contract. Participant is going to get hurt in one form or another. Example, cuts, bruises, possible broken bones, black eyes, rope burns, exhaustion, dehydration, or even death. And then it's time for Ben to get into a straight jacket. This is the... Biggest straight jacket. You're the strongest yeah. duck I've ever seen. But that would just see how high up, like knowing how high up you are scares me. So in this part, Ben's in a straight jacket and then Russ claims he has all this crazy stuff at his house that he spent millions of dollars on. There's 80 different activities that we can do inside the real manner. When in reality, it's just his front yard. And so he doesn't actually want to show you some things because it will expose himself. And so you just hear audio of Ben being waterboarded at the moment. And then they do a close-up of him chained up in a straitjacket. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more of that. A lot more. Uh -huh. The manor is pure water. I'm down for whatever you want to give me next. I can't wait for chainsaws and drills. But then it gets really, yeah, messed up. And Ben's taking one for the team. Oh, gosh. Whoa. 
Still. Yeah, Ben's not phased at all. He's going to keep it going for this video to expose Russ. And uh, he takes some more waterboarding. Come here, go, come here, go. Get the water out. Put your head back. You okay? So then after a little bit more of waterboarding, they mention my name. So give us some uh, words of advice for Dan next week. Words of advice for Danny? I actually really want to, because Danny's one of the craziest people I've ever met in my life. Like he will, you give him a challenge, he will do it. He is, Danny is not backed down from a challenge. Uh, he's probably going to kick my butt. I, I wish him the best. I, I mean, Danny's one of my best friends, so I want to see him succeed. You know, I want to see a friend succeed through this. That was super nice. Thanks, Ben. You guys, I'm going to put on the most amazing performance when I go into McKamey Manor. We have the famous surfer from San Diego, California, Danny Burke, has arrived to take on the manor. But it's so weird because you you think Ben's doing a great job, right? And then this happens. My low battery just come on. On me, it did? Yep. It's on this phone. I don't know why. Yeah, more phone issues. I know. It's, uh, I mean, the this one's on. So I don't know. Come on out. I was right about to get in the haunted house and then his phone dies, so he pulled me out. Oh, we're headed back to the vehicle. And I was like, well, well, that, there was my chance of going through it. Now we gotta send Danny Birkin, the ultimate master of pain, and uh, you can withstand anything, Danny. So I was like, you can be the perfect person to go through this. I mean, all the craziest stunts I've ever done, surviving third degree burns that I have scars all over my body still. Like, I don't know if you can tell in the light, but like, my feet look like that for life. Both feet, my back's all scarred up. I was in the hospital for nine days. I'm in the hospital for two weeks. That was the worst pain of my entire life. And I know for a fact, anything that Russ does to me will not be as painful as third degree burns and the bullet ant glove ritual when I'm getting stung by 200 bullet ants. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Oh, God. And I mean, I've gotten pepper sprayed, backflipping on the treadmills with Legos. I've done it all. Russ, I don't think you've got a contestant that has been as crazy as me. Was that a little tap with the boys? Oh! 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 So... I mean, you're going to be shocked and you're probably going to be a little disappointed because I'm going to be the first one to beat it. But obviously we're like infiltrating McKamey Manor and we're exposing him. So like... I have some ideas, you know? We're gonna make him think that I'm scared of stuff. I'm gonna kind of play like a character. Like, I don't wanna really play myself because then he'll know like what my strengths are. We don't want him to know what my strengths are, you know? So I'm gonna I'm gonna downplay like stuff that I, I like doing or, or like will do, you know? Like, I, you know, Russ, you're getting played, buddy. So during my FaceTime call with like the whole McKamey Manor crew, this one was kind of weird what they said. Safety is our number one thing here. We don't want anybody getting hurt. inside of me and in my soul i don't think i ever will but i just wanted to keep on messing with them and just if they ask me a question i'm going to answer it but i'm going to answer it in a different way i just you know i'm basically just trolling at this point now what would be your top three fears i guess i've been scared to get uh catfished if i'm talking to a girl like on tinder or something i'm scared to get catfished <laughs> that's a fear Hey, I made her laugh, so I, I guess it's working. That's the scary thing of, of the internet. You never know who you're talking to. Yeah, it is scary. For you. Because you've been getting played the whole time. Even this. Listen to this. You're going to love this. So it was pretty funny. During Ben's tour, I'm not allowed in the McKamey Manor Facebook group until after my tour. They don't want me to get any spoilers to see like what's going to be going on. Obviously, Ben's going to give me his Facebook password because Ben's in the group. And I watched his whole experience on Ben's Facebook. And I got to, I was in the McKamey Manor Facebook group and I knew exactly what's going to happen. Ben, you got this dude we're watching? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Um... And if he does, then that's great. And I was fully prepared now. Going into it, I know, dude, basically just get waterboarded. And the only reason no one has actually like made it through is because if you're getting waterboarded, you just can't breathe. And if you can't breathe, you're just going to die. So then you got to, you got to quit because 
you're going to die. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I think they say the average like uh, military person lasts like 14 seconds being waterboarded before they tap. So it's uh, pretty much like the toughest people in the world are, aren't even lasting past like 15 to 20 seconds, you know? So I would say even less than that. About like 14 seconds where they say like the average military person lasts. So, yeah. I mean, he expects you to go through like hours and hours of waterboarding to like be able to win the $20,000. Like obviously like no one can get past 14 seconds, you know? It's not like necessarily like it's scary and that's why you have to quit it's more just like oh like my natural instinct is to breathe and i can't breathe so my body's gonna die so but then if you kept going then you would die anyway so then you're not gonna make it because you're dead so it's basically impossible but we're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger the next episode i am flying to tennessee it's the airport can't believe i'm going for a mckinney man ben changed the contract this i read it and i signed it and uh i'm ready to go ben prepared me i know exactly what's going to happen and uh russ doesn't know which is the best part but we're gonna plan everything we're staying in a hotel right by the manor it gets crazy russ keeps me up all night where i'm sleep deprived that's what he does to keep you weak and that is sleep deprivation so you're up all night make sure we know what room you're in all that good stuff but uh, i'm going in on the next episode wearing the onesie and i'm i could be the first person to beat the manor also we get the main admin of the mckamey manor hate group involved russ thinks we're on the side of Russ, but we're going against them the whole time. But it, I'm telling you, I don't want to give any spoilers, but it gets so good. You're just going to have to wait till the next episode. Okay. Russ has a safe word. So if you're getting waterboarded and you want to quit, you have to say the safe word. And the safe word is, my name is Danny Burke. I flew all the way from San Diego, California to have Russ McCain me eat my lunch, take my milk money and just kick my butt. I quit. You should never do this, but that's not going to be the case because Russ, you're not going to take my milk money. You're not going to eat my lunch because because I'm taking you down because I'm with Reckless Ben and Reckless Ben always wins. We're always one step ahead of you, buddy. You don't say that because then they're going to be quiet. They're going to stop talking to us if they hear that. We want them to think they can beat us, Danny. He has no idea what he's getting into. No, he doesn't. Also, if you guys want to see the full version of Reckless Ben's tour, it's on his YouTube channel. Link is in the description. And then you can go see his perspective of the series as well. But good news, Ben. You changed the contract to $1. Nice. Yeah, there's $1 on your contract too. So Thank you, dude. Your NDA is only $1 also. So that means uh, we can spill all of the secrets when you go through. I can't wait to give him the $1 as well. It's going to be so funny. Nice. Should we, uh, should we do that today? Should we go to the UPS store and give him $1? Dude, let's do it. You want to go and give him a dollar now? I would love to give him a dollar. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. See you on the next episode. Peace. Nice. I think we should say one more thing. I think you should say, uh, hey, you are fools, go. Oh, oh, yes, I did. Just play the exact same character you've been playing on all your Facebook lives, and I think yeah. you'll be good. You're just stoked and you're ready to rumble. If I bring up anything, you're like, what the heck, Ben? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Throw me fine. under the bus. That's if easy, that's easy.